All right, guys, we have finally arrived at Comic-Con here in New York. Uh, I came here, met uh, two friends of mine. Uh, I'm gonna use, well, one of them just regularly goes by his name, John. Uh, the other one is, uh, we call Shelter or Prison of Shelters. That is his Twitch name. And then we are waiting to meet up with our friend Zala, uh, who some of you guys should be able to know from TikTok. And I will go online uh, when I'm done posting this and everything, editing it all together, and post his TikTok, uh, a link in his, of his TikTok down in the description. So, uh, just going to be doing a lot of recording and checking out, like, pretty much what the convention has to offer. Maybe seeing if I can do, find some stuff to buy and flip. I think that'd be a really cool, uh, cool experience, see if I can find stuff that I can resell on eBay. And, uh, yeah, just going to have a good time. So... Enjoy. Alright guys, so I finally met up with all my friends here at New York City Comic Con. So we've got Prison of Shelters, check them out on Twitch. <laughs> Selfless, <laughs> selflessly advertising Self himself. Plugs, yeah. <laughs> Same with one. We got Zizala the, cr up, the Cramorant. How are you guys uh, doing? TikTok and... And uh, soon to be YouTube. Stay tuned. We have... What is I'm your... Danny what? the Boss Witch. There we go. And then we've got our good friend here, John, who just goes by John because he's fucking lazy. John the man. So come along with us, and I'll be recording while I go. All right, guys. Found some Star Wars figures, two or Star Trek figures. I can't even read. Uh, two dollars each, three for five bucks. So we're gonna look these up on eBay and see if they're worth anything. Alright guys, saw so there, picked up this whole lot of Babylon 5 figures. Uh, they had two bucks a piece uh, that they wanted. There was nine of them. I offered, I would do ten dollars for the nine. So a buck, uh, a buck ten each. It's not too bad. We're going to try to get about, you know, thirty, forty dollars for all of them.
actual voiceover is over. Around the corner is a popcorn stand. So we're gonna be there for my popcorn. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, yeah, those are cool. I like 50 bucks off. That's pretty good. Okay. I think there's you started at 100. Well, a lot of fun things. 100. <laughs> well, first I'm like, how bad? And we start off with the, how bad do you not want to pack your bag? <laughs> that thing seems like it's probably pretty heavy. Yeah. And I got to carry it around. <laughs> Leave it with John. Like I really actually want these these other Power Ranger figures that are up there, but I don't know how much I want to pay for Super Seven stuff. So. Up here? Yeah. Sorry, you guys are. They mean actually they they like moved out of my way. Like, whoops. How much were the uh, the Super Seven Power Ranger stuff? Sixty as well. 60. All of them are sixty except the uh, two monsters and the big ass. Okay. Uh, what about? How badly do you not want to have to pack up and bring home that Green Ranger in the case, the, the two hundred dollar statue? Uh, one fifty. One fifty. Basically, cost so the best he said he could do is 180. 180? All right, I could do 180. Do 180. Do you think you could do anything if I picked up one of each Ranger figure? One of the. Yeah, so a gold, uh, yeah, Super 7. Uh, yeah, let me run it by him. Okay. All right, guys, I'm here with Cliff from what is it? Lost for Toys. What's going on, guys? All right, so we just picked up a couple things for my personal collection. Got this nice Goldar our yellow ranger and a green ranger statue that were all awesome and cliff here worked with me on the price so guys if you guys are coming to events like comic-con especially on sunday yeah a lot of people don't want to have to pack everything up you want to these are the days <laughs> these are the days you want to get some good deals yes and guys like cliff will here will work we'll work with you we'll always work with you guys exactly. we love it we appreciate what collectors ourselves so we understand and um yeah, you guys reach out. Look, right here. Emblem. There you go. There we go. Just look that name up, guys. Reach right. out to us. Let us know what you're looking for. All right, guys. Let's see what else we can find today. Uh, 
I really appreciate it. Lots of turtle time. Signature! How you doing, Kevin? Right there. Yeah, real big in green. In green! Alright, so I'm gonna do the whole cheesy YouTuber thing while you're signing. No worries! Alright. Okay. Alright, guys, so we got the one and only Kevin Eastman here signing some Turtles figures for me. The original black and white design, which is what I really love when it comes to Turtles stuff. Yeah, me too. I love that they've actually, you know, Playmates followed uh, the, in time with uh, NECA who did the first black and white one, but oh, you're the, the original, that's the original version. And, and, all, and all your news, all the new figures and stuff coming out, that the, like the Super 7 line and stuff from the cartoon, yeah. oh my god, they're just all amazing. And yeah, we all need more shelf space. So, I thank you so much. You, uh, you've actually answered me once on Facebook, so it's an honor to actually oh, meet you on Facebook in person. It's, so. I love going there, it's so time consuming, but it I is. do the best as much as we can. But I thank you so much. Pleasure. Take care. Cheers, man. Thanks for coming and hanging out. Alright guys, so I am officially back now in Philly, coming back from New York Comic Con. Had an absolute great time. Definitely great getting to meet uh, Prisoner Shelters, John, uh, Zizala, and Danny uh, in person after you know we've been friends now for or the majority of us have been friends now for going on a little over three years so it was really cool to get in the to meet those guys and although New York Comic Con was great I think I can't wait to go to this year's uh, Philadelphia Fan Expo because it's just like Comic Con they used to call it Wizard World and I kind of like that con just a little bit more than than I like New York New York was great it was just so big, so massive, that it was kind of impossible to see everything. If I go to New York again, I'm definitely going to get the four-day pass, because you need all four days in, in order to see everything. Um, but I picked up some really awesome stuff, so I'm just going to show you guys that stuff. And uh, I only picked up that one item, the flip, uh, and it will make absolutely no difference whatsoever, because I spent so much money at the convention that... Uh, the 40 or 50 dollars that i make back from flipping that won't even make a dent in the bank but it was still a really great time and a really big shout out to those guys for for coming out and meeting up all right guys so these are my spoils for the weekend uh i spent way too much money at this convention but that normally happens when you guys go to conventions if you ever decide to go to one uh or if you've already been to some of them that you already know how much money they cost but we're going to start here. Uh, I picked up four of these Ultimates uh, Power Rangers uh, collection by Super 7. Uh, these figures are so awesome. Um, so I'll go through the four that I managed to find while I was there. I've got this Putty Patroller. Uh, and you see the thing I love about these figures is they come with all these different accessories and stuff like that. Now, me personally, I am an in-the-box collector when it comes to anything in my collection. Uh, very rarely do I take anything out of the box. You'll see here, I took this Green Ranger out of the box. That's a big deal for me. Um, mostly, I just kind of keep things in their boxes. But the actual like outer boxes for these were nice, but just a little too boring for me. So... They have a little sleeve and stuff that also goes over these, and they were wrapped in plastic. So I took the plastic off, took the sleeve off, you know, that thing, and stuck the sleeves back into the boxes so that I can show off the figures at my house. This one was probably my favorite, uh, this Goldar figure. It's just super, super detailed. So many little accessories. He's got his wings back there, and the the case where he took the power coins from the power rangers and just all types of awesome stuff in there we've got this yellow ranger uh with interchangeable heads because in the second season of the show when uh toy tran um left the show uh the character was taken over the the ranger you know was taken over by aisha um and I think that that's pretty cool that they had both of those in there. And it's got all little accessories and like from different episodes and stuff like that that are important to the character. So I thought that that was really cool. My favorite ranger, I've gotten to meet uh, Jason David Frank a few times uh, before his untimely passing. 
um, but the Green Ranger will always still be my favorite. And so I picked up this Green Ranger figure, which I really loved when I found that. And then I picked up this awesome, uh, this awesome statue here. And this thing was just completely epic. And I actually, you would have seen that in the, um, where I was haggling, uh, in the video. I was trying to get a little bit of a better deal. And I want to thank, uh, again, the guys over at Lost for Toys, um, out of West Hampstead, New York, um, for cutting me a little bit of a break. Um, that was very, very nice of them. I didn't record picking these guys up, um, but I love these turtles. Uh, I love the black and white designs, the original turtles. People, A lot of people don't know because they know only from the 90s cartoon of the turtles with, you know, Raph and his red, and then Michelangelo in orange, Leonardo in blue, and Donatello in purple. But in the original comic book run, one, everything was all in completely black and white, but when they would be on the covers, they all wore red bandanas. And you saw me there getting this signed by Mr. Kevin Eastman himself. And that was so epic. Um, super, super great guy. Like, he's uh, he's really active on social media. So he will actually respond to you and stuff. Like, he's done that for me on, on Facebook a few times. Like, where I've sent him something cool that I found in my collection. And tagged him in it. And then he'll go back. And he, he once he reposted it one time, it was super awesome. You come down here, we've got these Doctor Who Magic the Gathering Commander decks. Um, I'm not a huge Magic the Gathering fan, nor am I actually a huge Doctor Who fan. But, when I do get together with some buddies, we play some Magic the Gathering together. And these were just so cool, like, even though I'm not a huge fan of the show, like, I don't really know much about it. Like, it's not in my wheelhouse, but I just thought they were so awesome, I had to get them. And then I've got down here just this little pin from IDW, the comic book publisher that is in charge of the Ninja Turtles. Um, but I picked this up for my son. Uh, it has Sonic... Well, actually, they handed it to me, and I'm going to give it to my son. Um, this little Sonic the Hedgehog pin. He loves Sonic the Hedgehog. And then my friends were kind of joking. I We didn't even walk into the convention yet. And they had some of these IDW comics with um, special markings, you know, convention exclusive. And so before I even did anything, I walked in the door and spent $60. So I was spending money before I even actually got to see the show. But these covers were pretty, pretty sick. And I would have gotten them signed by Mr. Kevin Eastman, but they are all completely sealed. And that is just how they will remain in my collection. I will not actually end up opening these um, to read them or anything like that. But super awesome. Going to go on my comic book collection for sure. That is everything that we picked up. My favorite being the Power Rangers figures and this Power Rangers Green Ranger statue. And so thank you guys for coming along with me. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. You guys have a great week. And I'll see you guys later.